Hello and welcome to another Force Point Tech Talk episode. My name is Nick Sahaki, and in this episode, we will go through the process of upgrading the Force Point email security solution from 8.5.3 to 8.5.4. This will include upgrading the Force Point Security Manager, upgrading an appliance to the FSAM, and upgrading an appliance to the CLI. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to show your support for these videos. Enjoy! On June 8, 2020, Forcepoint released the 8.5.4 upgrade for the email security and web security solutions. The update within the email security solution includes security enhancements, helpful feature improvements, and new command line interface commands. For the full release notes, please refer to the article titled Email Security 8.5.4 Release Notes. The upgrade process for the email security solution is linear, but let's go over the upgrade steps anyways. 1. Upgrade the Forcepoint Management Infrastructure. 2. Upgrade the email security module. 3. Upgrade the email appliances. 4. Upgrade supplemental servers. Prior to starting this process, it is important to mention that the upgrade process will cause a service disruption. It is recommended that you perform the upgrade during off hours or during a change control window. It is also important to perform backups prior to the install just in case. For the backup process, please refer to the article below titled Forcepoint Backups. The first step in the upgrade process is to download the 8.5.4 setup file. Either download this directly to the Forcepoint management server, or move it after the download is finished. Navigate to support.forcepoint.com, log in, and then navigate to Downloads, All Downloads, then scroll down to the Email Security section. Then under the Forcepoint Email Security section, select the 8.5.4 option. Then select the option Forcepoint Email Security 8.5.4 for Windows, then select Download. Once this file has been downloaded, run it. This will begin the extraction process. When the extraction is complete, you will see a new window that will start the upgrade automatically for the Forcepoint Management Infrastructure. The setup will have you confirm the license agreement, the SQL Server and SQL credentials, and the administrator password for this Forcepoint deployment. Once these have been input, then proceed with the upgrade. This will take a few minutes to complete. After the management infrastructure has finished the upgrade, a new window will appear that has all of the Forcepoint modules listed in it. Within this window for the email security upgrade, you will want to select the upgrade button next to the email security option. Confirm the components that will be upgraded, the SQL Server credentials, and re-input the service account credentials. Then click Next to begin the upgrade. The upgrade will take some time. Once the email security module upgrade has completed, proceed with upgrading the email appliances. For this video, we will upgrade the appliances using two different methods, one through the FSAM and two through the CLI. The FSAM or Forcepoint Security Appliance Manager provides a web interface to manage Forcepoint appliances. If you do not already have this installed, then refer to the video titled Install and Setup 2.0.1, link in the description below. Log in to the FSAM console. Once logged in, you will see the list of the appliances that are configured in this deployment. Select the email appliance that you wish to upgrade. Then select the Software Updates tab, then the drop-down for Upgrades. Under the Available Actions, select Download. When the upgrade is finished downloading, then click the Install button under Available Actions. This will take a while to complete the services will not be available during the upgrade. To install the upgrade through the CLI or the command line interface, we will need to use an application like PuTTY to SSH to the appliance's C interface. Once connected, log into the appliance using the user, admin, and the admin password for the appliance. After logging into the CLI, we will need to log into the config mode. 
type config. Then input the admin password for the appliance again. From the config mode type load upgrade. This will show a list of the available upgrades. Input the number that corresponds to the 8.5.4 version. In this case, type the number one. Wait for the upgrade to download. This will take a few minutes. Depending on how long the upgrade takes to download, you might need to refresh your connection to the appliance and log in again. From the config mode, type install upgrade. Here you will see a list of the upgrades that have been downloaded. Type the number one to select the 8.5.4 upgrade. Press enter or spacebar and agree to the license agreement. After this, a prompt will appear stating that the upgrade is ready to be installed and will ask you to confirm the installation. Type yes, then wait for the upgrade to finish. This will take a while. The services will not be available during this time. If you would like to see a status of the upgrade, you can type show upgrade status. Repeat whichever appliance upgrade method you prefer on each email appliance within the environment. The last step in this process is to upgrade any supplemental servers that are installed in your environment, like a DLP OCR server. To upgrade a supplemental server, move the 8.5.4 setup file to the server, run it, and follow the prompts. When you've completed the upgrade, confirm that everything shows the new version, 8.5.4, and that everything is working as expected. Thanks for watching this video where we were able to upgrade the Forcepoint email security solution from 8.5.3 to 8.5.4. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to show your support for these videos. See you next time.